Hey guys, my name is Doug with infotainment.com. Today we're working on the 2016 and up Ram 1500 and the heavy duty, as well as the 2019 through 2022 Ram 1500 Classic. Today I'm gonna to talk to you guys about a factory Mopar kit that you can get for your 2016 and up fourth gen Ram truck. This is LED bed lighting. So there's nothing more convenient at night, especially if you have a tonneau cover or a cap. You want to see what's in the in the bed of your truck at night, and these really do a great job of making that visible. When you open your tailgate, when you unlock your doors, open your door, these will shine nice and bright LED lights in the bed of your truck. It comes with plug and play wiring. It comes with your right and left side um, lamps. And then lastly, you're gonna to wanna to program the truck to accept the feature. So whenever you press the cargo light button, um, it will immediately turn on. Or again, if you open the doors or hit the unlock button, you're gonna to wanna to program your vehicle's body control module with this OBD Genie programmer. Now, those of you who have a 2018 or up model, you're gonna to wanna to temporarily install this bypass device into two connectors behind your radio. If you don't have a 2018 or up, don't worry about this part you will just need this. Plug it into your OBD2 port after your vehicle's in the on position, wait for the green light and disconnect it. It makes programming very, very easy and it will enable this feature. So today I'm gonna to show you guys how to install this in the truck located behind me. So let's get started. All right, before we get into the install, I want to go over uh, briefly the tools and uh, the parts that you're going to get with your kit here. Um, so basically, I'm going to use a flashlight. I have an impact, although you don't need one. All you basically need is a 7mm driver or socket of some sort. And I have a flush cut with some zip ties, as well as uh, a set of safety glasses. Now, as far as the parts go, um, you will receive two lights. These are side specific and actually right behind the light uh, There is an R and An L so if you don't know which one goes where it actually only fit one way But it's also marked on the light itself and the harness is also side specific So without unraveling the whole thing here, you'll have a Y or a split In this harness, you're going to have one long end and a short end coming off of that Y. The long end is going over to the passenger side, and the short end is going over to the driver's side because this whole harness, we're actually going to run it down the driver's side uh, frame. So let's get into the install. All right, so I'm going to start on the driver's side, and uh, this is the one, again, that's listed with the L. And what you're going to want to do is grab two of the compression fittings. You'll get four with this kit and you'll stick it in to the light itself. It's actually notched out in only one way. You can only fit those compression fittings in there in one direction. And then you'll run your wires down into the hole in the center. And once you have everything seated, you can get your seven millimeter driver and tighten those up. Now, it's just a plastic compression fitting, so you don't have to go extra hard on it. When it gets tight, that's, that's plenty. Now we'll move over to the driver, uh, passenger side and do the same thing. All right, now that we got the lights mounted, We'll head underneath and we'll wire it up. Alright, so up underneath the truck here, I'm underneath the driver's side uh, of the truck. I have my main harness here with that Y and the two ends. So I'm going to focus on the one with the shorter side on it first. And I'm actually going to plug our wire in that we dropped down connected to our bed light. And on the harness, on both ends, you'll have a um, little push, push pin type deal that 
you can line up with the holes that are actually pre-existing on your truck to secure it. Right like that, so it looks nice and nice and organized, just like the factory intended it to. And we'll grab the other end and we'll run this over to the passenger side. All right, so from here, I have my lights wired up. I'm ready to run the main harness to the front. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over the frame rail and I'm basically gonna follow this factory harness all the way down, just zip tying it along the way. Um, as a good rule of thumb, what you just wanna kinda do is avoid any moving parts and any hot parts like the exhaust. If you have a dual exhaust system, you can actually see the hanger right here. Just be mindful of where all your pipes are and avoid anything that can damage or melt um, these wires here. All right, so now that we've reached right underneath the rear um, passenger compartment of the vehicle, um, I'm actually gonna stop running it forward. I've gotten it this far along on the factory wiring harness here above the frame reel. And uh, because we have a quad cab truck, I have a access point right here that I'm gonna stick the wire through. And basically you can just kind of pop this up with your fingers. Uh, I'll grab that from the other side inside the cab of the vehicle and I'll drill a hole through there so I can run this wire through that hole into our truck. Now if you um, have an electric brake, electric parking brake on your truck, there's actually an easier point that you can access underneath the driver floor compartment but because we have a cable brake on our truck we're going to use this hole here. Alright so up underneath the back seat um, all you do is lift up your rear seat compartment here. You'll have uh, three panel clips 
holding this carpet down that we'll need to remove. And once you remove that, you can kind of peel back the layer of the carpet here. And right on the inside here, you can see where our little plastic clip that we pushed up from the bottom is. And it's even got a nice little dimple in the middle. We're just gonna drill that out to fit our uh, wire loom and we'll run it through here, pop this back down. All right, so we'll drill a hole in the center here. All right, just like that. Now we can run our wire up. run our wire through our grommet here. And push our grommet back down. And to seal up our hole, I have some strip caulking here. If you don't have strip caulking, silicone will work fine. And then I'll run through here and make my way forward. We'll have to pull up our door sill plate here. And from this point I can replace the carpet and put the little push pins back in. Alright, now our wire is into the truck, we'll just keep working our way forward until we get underneath the uh, driver's dash. And when we get to the driver door, so we'll have to pull this up. Now, when you get to this location here, you have two wires that you're gonna be left with. One is this uh, black ground wire that has a ring terminal on it. On it. Um, and the second is the wire that's gonna have to go into the BCM. Uh, so because that's gonna be really hard to see, I'm gonna show you how and where uh, this is going. On the bench, we have a BCM specifically uh, to show you guys where exactly we're going to be tapping this wire into, just to make things easier to explain. And as for the ground wire, if you pull this to the side here, you can see this uh, large copper lug here with a 10 millimeter bolt. Um, this is where we're going to tap our ground wire. In the instructions, it does um, say to run this into the engine bay hook it up to the negative ground wire, and then run the BCM wire into the truck's cab. Let's move to the bench and I'll show you where this goes. You can actually pull that lever, it'll pull itself in and it'll self lock into place. So if you do this and you pull on this and it pops right out, that means you did it wrong. So make sure you go down, you can see how that lever moves, just pull it the rest of the way. But yeah, so we're gonna get to, uh, get to doing this underneath the dash and uh, 
we'll check back once we're done and give our lights a test. That's a wrap right there. All right, so if you found this video interesting and you want to see more, head back to infotainment.com.